Oh, please don't worry. You know, I really do love all of you too much to, to cry, though I'm dying to. <laughs> oh, Beth. <laughs> oh, does anybody know how Barbara's um, New York premiere went? Well, Craig said it went very well. The buyers are ordering right and left, and the press what? gave rave reviews. Oh, great! I cannot wait to stuff that on old Lucy's crawl. Yeah, he also <laughs> said that Barbara got some strange gifts, and the cops think they might be from the competition. <laughs> Well, of course that is. The orchids, the wreath, uh, sent to, to Barbara by the Wicked Witch of Oakdale. Lisa, Lisa, and, Lisa, it's just a theory. I wouldn't go spreading anything until I have some evidence, you know? I keep more stuff inside of me. If I do it, I'm going to have a million ulcers. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Yes. <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh, <laughs> what? Look at this. Oh, Kirk has a reservation for 7 o'clock. I'm going to do some investigating. Oh, no. Yeah. Hi, Shannon. Hi. All right. Uh, we don't have a reservation, but I figured that this guy might have some pull with the owner. Oh, my. Well, yes, I guess we might be able to just squeeze you in. Squeeze me, baby. <laughs> oh, um, uh, why don't you join us? Um, maybe, maybe a little later, but uh, right now I have a very important date with a very hot bubble bath. <laughs> Looks like Tom and Hal are ready to move in on Margo. Oh, will you relax? If they were getting any closer, do you think they'd be sitting here in the Mona Lisa? Can you imagine what their conversation would be like if Tom knew that Margo's having Hal's baby? Well, that's why she went to Greece in the first place. Two beers for table four. I don't know what will happen after I find Margot, Shannon. But I do know you'll always be an important part of my life. Hello, Shannon. Shannon, I thought surely you would be luxuriating in my beautiful tub built for two by Well, now. that was my intention until Duncan came over here and offered me a drink for old time's sake. Oh. But I told him what he could do with his bonny drink. Who's Teresa? <laughs> I don't know, and I don't care. Hey, I'll bet she's back at the castle getting ready for tomorrow's fashion show. Oh, you know, I forgot completely about that. Tore up my invitation as soon as Duncan told me that Teresa was his new bed warmer. Mm, you know what? It looks like I might have to be the commentator for that show. That is, if Barbara can't find somebody really splendid to take the place. I'm still so surprised that Duncan is allowing Barbara to use his castle. Oh, uh, now I would... Oh, excuse me. Sure. This is well, very good. Hi, 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 everybody. Well, the gang's all here, huh? Hey, uh, 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 husband. Oh, he's uh, uh, watching a baseball game. This is what he grabbed him. Oh, well, come on, we'll find that wonderful table. Oh, he's here. Oh, you Jessica, you need to speak with you tonight. It's urgent. Okay, uh, can I get a drink first and then I'll join you? I, you'll need it. still stands. If you don't stop bothering me, Mr. McKechnie, I'm going to call the police after you. I'm sure that Roy would love to arrest you again. Sean, I'm sorry I hurt you. I was trying to be honest. <laughs> honest? <laughs> You're the least honest man I know. Oh, and don't worry, after tomorrow's fashion show, I won't come on your island ever again. I'm not so sure there's going to be a fashion show. What do you mean by that? <sighs> I thought you were leaving to take a bath. Ah, uh, it was, but uh, Duncan ruined my plans as usual. Oh, but enough about me. Have you heard from your friend from Washington? Yeah, yeah. He uh, he finished the check, and Margot passed through Athens Custom the day after she left here in March. Now the computer's still trying to find out where she's been since then. Oh. You know, you're going to find your answers from Margot a lot sooner than I'm going to find mine from Duncan, though. I'm sorry, you had to calm down. Well, good evening. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Name's here somewhere. Is uh, Lily here yet? No, darling, she won't be here for another hour. I'll let you, I'll let you know just as soon as... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. please don't, please don't. I want this lady to forget that she's a mother tonight so she can focus all of her attention on my sparkling wind and debonair good looks. Yep, I think it's getting dark earlier. Mm. There is a God, and he's making the working days shorter. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I used to wish for that when I was a kid and lived in Kansas. Oh, Josh. Had we known that... Henry was beating you and treating you the way he was. We would have had you come here and stay with us. He was an expert at concealing his hatred to everyone but me. 
Now, I don't get this. Why was Uncle Henry so nice at the church functions, and then he went home and beat you black and blue? Well, you know that Aunt Elizabeth was, uh, was pregnant when Uncle Henry married her. But where was Josh's father? Rod Landry. Well, I never met him, but Aunt Elizabeth said he took off right after he found out that uh, she was pregnant. And then Henry said that he would marry her anyway and raise Josh as his own. But then after Josh was born, his jealousy got the best of him. And he took out his hatred and anger on Josh. Oh, good heavens. I don't know why in the world I brought all this up. I'm sorry. Oh, don't apologize, Anna. It's good to talk about it. I can see why Betsy hated my jealousy so much. Hey, I'm sorry things didn't work out with you, Betsy. One thing I know is one day a woman's going to come along and love you for your great qualities, make you happier than you ever dreamed you could be. Do you think so? Mm hmm Hey, Maggie. Oh, goodness, isn't this a lovely surprise? 